This guy has been lying to Manchester United fans for about two years now. Ever since uh, an Ajax protege getting them to an Euro European Cup semi-final five years ago. It, ha it has already been five years and people still buy on his magic that he might produce something with Manchester United someday. I'll show the Premier League table now to see the false propaganda is screaming at your face. What this bald man delivered was an FA Cup title, a League Cup title against a club that hasn't won a trophy in 70 years and a 7-0 defeat to Liverpool. Meanwhile, Ferguson didn't let Liverpool win the Premier League for more than 30 years, yet, yet he's the one that still remains on that job. The word is used to describe Manchester United right now is constantly overchanging. The more draws and defeats they currently obliged to have. The Europa League thinking to themselves that it's a European competition of prestige. Your Manchester United, that there's no place to be. So I have a proposition. Uh, I'll be Eric Ten Hag. I'll do the signings that Eric Ten Hag were to have. And I'd see if we get the same results. Better or for worse. But if I were to be the Manchester United manager, I'll shit my pants in front of the fucking chairman. And in case we don't win a trophy, being Eric Ten Hag, at uh, Eric Ten Hag's job, that he should be sacked so many moons ago, I'll eat a spoon of Propeka. It's even worse than I thought. Dalo has to play a makeshift left back. No one is insane or dumb enough to trust Luke Shaw ever again. All the reserves in the bench, all that it says to me is bad management and fucking AIDS. A fun factor for you Manchester United fans to even digest, uh, this is the 10th season of Luke Shaw. Do you feel glad? Do you feel happy? I don't know where I'd even begin. It's too fucking hard to even look. Well, firstly, relegating Ahmad Diallo back to whatever the fuck he came from. Now it's just been years of going out on loan and doing fuck all. Let me throw Mano into closet. Bear in mind, a, a team that wins titles also has a decent bench. And when I look at this bench, I just feel depressed. I already regret this idea with all my fucking heart and penis. My main intuition was Robert Lewandowski. He's cheap, 88 rated, it wouldn't really decrease that much despite his age. And it would be a perfect fit to be a target man center forward. But because I decided, you know what, I'm gonna play as fucking boldy, boldy mech fucking ball. And do signings that were rumored to come out on his tenure. That would be rumored to be coming from Eric Ten Hag himself. And because Lewandowski's not on the picture, I have to go for plan B. Only fucking Watkins. Don't get me wrong, uh, uh, great and all. England's, England international team standard and everything. Don't compare his name to Robert Lewandowski in your fucking dreams. How goes the Bologna once in a wonder? Comes in a, a proven Premier League striker. I, I pray. Swap deal for Zerski and 26 million pounds. They still have a lot more funds to go remounting the whole squad, but at the same time, we're talking about winning a trophy here. And I already said it, this team does not oblige to win it. Oh my God, bad negotiation. What do you mean bad negotiation? He didn't he have like three years after his contract? Toby Collier, when I arrived, he was in the bench. 59 over, I, I, can't, I can't even fucking look at it. One bold Dutchman to another. Take 45 million. Take 45 million. Dogodogo is worth it. Of course he isn't, but Arnie Slot doesn't know that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, he has so much chlamydia. He's so fucking stupid. On the other hand, for the same amount of money, we're bringing in Rafinha. From what I've seen research-wise, yeah, he's been rumored to getting to United a couple of times on Eric Hag's tenure. Especially on the amount of times he spent bumped up the place in Barcelona and needed a fucking downgrade. Hopefully he's not Anthony Mark II, he's something much more special. We fucking pray, cause you for Brazil are disgusting. I had no idea he was 29, but with a year left in his deal, it was actually going to be an amazing coup to pull this fucker off. Berlan Mendy, 21 million pounds and two ratings above Diogo Dalo, and yet half the fucking price. Learn how to be reasonable on the transfer market with me. Get my marketing course. Business. That's how I get a Lamborghini. That's how I teach how to make money online. Signing people like him and trading him for slave ships. This is one of the first times I actually picked up FC25. A uh, social critique. What the fuck they did to that Milan crest? You're trying to pretend to me without your licensing that that's AC Milan. The fucking great AC Milan with seven Champions Leagues. That looks like a Sunday League team fought by a bunch of members of the clergy down the, down the fucking church. It looks like 11 fucking priests walking around the football pitch praying to fucking God that have been caught sneaking all the children to the basement and don't get me started on what they did to enter should i say lombardia fc what the fuck what the fuck 
Was that all needed to just get Juventus back on the licensing? Sacrifice both Milan and clubs? Like, fuck you, man. And that crest is just a fucking leather football being surrounded by a pile of blue shit. When I see this man taking a free kick, I instantly feel the jiggery in my legs and I start to come out on my penis. Hakan Chahanoglu from Inter. Manuel Gatti going the other way, plus 31 million. I don't think they're gonna give me a good grade, though. Fuck. Why? 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 Is this really necessary? I was about to be scared that Noya would be like, I don't know, 82 because of all the injuries he currently possesses and going to the hospital more times than I take showers. But yeah, he's still around. He's still around, but 86 is much more different than 88, meaning by the end of the season, it's going to be like a 79. Further research proved me that Neuer was not, was not it. He was not it. So we, we brought in someone completely fucking different. Dan Sommer is three years younger than Neuer and has an overall more and same amount of money, to be honest. Fuck off giving me a B. They asked for 10 million. What the fuck was I supposed to do? I'm being nice to Marcus Rashford here. Because by comparison, all the signings that I made just makes him look like a fucking twat. Because for all reminders of any Marcus Rashford fan out there, there. He's not a kid anymore. He's fucking 26. That's a man's age that should be paying all his taxes and mortgages. And what we brought in is to improve competition to another level never seen at Old Trafford for 10 years. Brought in people competing at the highest fucking order. And I just like to pray that at least the trophy comes off of this shit. Now actually, I don't want to be nice to Rashford. Oh uh, yeah, let, let's put Ganacho. <laughs> let's put Ganacho in. Alejandro, I'm trusting in you with all my powers. I believe that you're better than Marcus. So prove to me on the pitch that, that you can actually do this. Putting all my hopes on a teenager, I, I, I did worse in my life. <laughs> we got Europa League games in January. Good sign? N never. Ha! 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 <laughs> I get to send I told you so to so many fucking emails and DMs. 42 points. Five points away from Mantis. 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 Remix. Still a season that Aston Villa and Crystal Palace battle out for Champions League football, but, 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 it's a sign of things going on the right direction. The goal difference looks healthy. The defeats look not that bad. And points total looks hella nice compared to all of our competition. And if you're a Chelsea fan, please kill yourself. And if you're an Ipswich fan, I think you already did kill yourself, so it's not even a useful manner to even talk to you anymore. But still great success to reach this stage of the fucking competition on the second half of the season to kick on and hopefully have even a remote chance of winning something. Did we even win the Community Shield? No, no we didn't. <laughs> we fucking... With that kind of a trophy, no one fucking does. Why should I? It's so nice that we don't even have to travel to Wigan to play in the FA Cup. We're gonna have to come to us. Because I've been to Wig Wigan, people. I've been to Wigan. Brothers and sisters, I've been to Wigan. You don't want to go to Wigan. <laughs> we did get knocked out of the fucking League Cup, so yeah, that's a that's easiest trophy out of the bag. Completely fucking ruined. Although fourth in the Europa League, it's... It's something, but I do mean sharing the same points total as Slavia Prague and Galatasaray. It feels emasculating to the point that a female person would win me at an arm wrestling match. And if, I mean, looking at my biceps and triceps, clearly a girl f could easily fucking beat me in an arm wrestle. I mean, I'm fucking weak as shit. And Anjish, as you should, carrying the fucking club out of a hole in the ground. And as I were to say, boy, does it pay off to trust teenagers. All these racks give me a boner. Garnacho with 12 goals in 27 matches. It's not the best return, but it's much better than what Rashford could fucking do. Watkins with 12. Jaden Sancho. Yeah, he's hit. He's at Chelsea. Why Why do we have to count his stats? He's not with us. That raises a good point. Why, why don't we recall Jadon Sancho? Good fucking idea. I, I, I just simply lost the mind plot that Jadon Sancho was even at United anymore. I'll have this, these stats for you. And uh, Anthony should not be trusted even with a sharp object. In news, FA Cup triumph still goes on. We'd beat Rangers. We'd beat Stuart Bucharest. But we, we did win both. And we probably guarantee a great spot in the Europa League. The league is full. On, done. Who goes on to get second in the league by the halfway point and then loses to Southampton at home? You, you do realize that what you've done now is it's it's a sin against football. It's a crime against what you stand for playing the game of football. If you invite 11 dogs, actual dogs like the animal dog into a pitch, make it an occurrence that they have to beat you on a game of football surrounded by your family. Do you realize how embarrassing it is? To lose to 11 dogs that don't know any better, apart from barking and fucking the toy under your bed. I am so fucking nervous because 
if there's a fucking possibility for us to get the whole season ruined, it's called Chester United. Imagine the whole challenge gets ruined and I have to f feed myself a spoon of paprika because we lost the game of football to Colchester United whilst having world stars on our team. I didn't see what I just saw. I didn't see what I just saw. No, 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 no. no. I was joking. I, I was I was handing in for a laugh. I, I didn't I didn't meant to just walk serious like that. I do stand by what I mean. It. Nah. We're go, we're going we're going we're going research. We're going we're going to research something. Where are Colchester? Colchester only two. I want to see their squad. Alfie Bendel, who looks like a gay person. Aurora Edwards, that. Has no home. 33 year old Tom Flanagan, father of three. Ben Goodlife, who deals drugs in the fucking alleyway. Matt Macy, that used to be fifth fucking choice goalkeeper for Arsenal. Someone called Arthur Reed. Not, not, not Reed, double E. Read EA. Read as in you read a book. Their squad has an average of 60 rating. And we gave them a clean sheet. Who do we put to play on, on that match? I'm vaguely confused. I'm a stat. How, how am I introduced to a new game when the game doesn't take me seriously? The game just thinks that I'm running fucking joke. We got knocked out by a League 2 fucking bellend. Now we have to focus on a league that is completely out of our reach. Man City have flown away. There's nothing to play for anymore. I thought maybe, oh, this this will be fun at least. We can get to the get to the fucking final part of the season with a bit of excitement. We get to like an FA Cup semi-final, an FA Cup final, we might win the FA Cup final, and then I, I don't have to do these stupid things I put to myself ever again. And yet crime against football continues. Wait for it, wait for it. The team that I assembled with all fucking resources put to the table a half a billion pound investment on a month that put this squad into good use, that saw us second in the league in December competing with City all the way through and now it's seen taken on the grasp of losing a game of 19 minute football to people that work in Tesco to people that work part-time as plumbers fixing toilets to people that if you hand them a, a math book they'll think it's their fucking dinner I even forgot we're in the Europa League in the first place. I shouldn't have forgotten that. And we did go past Ajax in the round of 16. And then we got past Bilbao in the quarterfinals. Setting a semi-final with Tottenham. Fucking Tottenham. And we got bullied by fucking Tottenham. Well, I thought at the start it was actually to fruition. We, we lose on every single front. Apparently, I'm a fraud. I can't even do a better job than someone with no hair and no clue on how to manage players. Eriton Hag, you, you have me beaten. I, uh, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Eriton Hag has so me fucking beaten that we finish nine points away from Aston Villa. We don't get to make Champions League football. And... We even go below Crystal fucking Palace. Bruv, we outscored Crystal Palace by 15 goals. You're telling me that our performances were more shit. Yeah, I, I got put a sock in, my, in the crowd's mouth, which is me. The team that I built and thought it would be with all its glory and success turned out to be all of my demise. I thought I was proud of what I built and, and could actually send some trophies coming up. And, and soon enough, Casemiro was starting to drop in a significant overall, so was Summer, that is now lower rated than Onana himself. And the most stressful part, we have a prime Bruno Fernandes having a 40 goal season. 40 goals in a season from midfield. If we weren't so fucking dog shit, he could have been in shot for a Ballon d'Or. He had 51 goal contributions in 57 matches. Watkins. The player we paid for to score goals scored 21. Literally half of what a midfielder could pull off. I was glad to prove well for Ganacho because he did pay off with 15. And I brought Jadon Sancho at the right moment in time. But my biggest fear was to actually have Jadon Sancho, Ganacho, and Rashford in the same team. 
and not having all of them to play at once. Anthony with six goals, yeah, these stats are fake, no one gives a shit. I'm now gonna be forced to eat something that you would use to season chicken on a spoon for my tongue to turn red. As a fucking volcano. I, I thought I, w I thought I was safe when we got Colchester in the FA Cup. I thought I was safe when we had the massive Europa League run. I thought I was safe when in December we were second and everything crumbled into fucking pieces. Yeah, yeah. Paprika from Sainsbury's. Fun fact: uh, the attendant there working at the cash register was a fucking whale, like one of them that. Where's the fucking XXXXXXL jacket just walking like this? Mm, 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 mm. If she moved at the, the cash register, you would have seen the first earthquake in the whole of the UK. Like, <sighs> Thank fuck I'm not sniffing a lot of this shit because mm, I haven't sniffed a lot of things since my sabbatical. <laughs> I regret coming back to YouTube. Fuck everyone. I'm fucking. I want to fucking quit. I want to fucking quit. <laughs>